An important task in machine learning is prediction. Given some information summarizing an independent variable x, for example the height of a person, predict the value of another dependent variable y, like their weight. Usually we have a training dataset, that is a table that contains values for both x and y that we want to use to infer what the function g should be. We can then use that learned function g to predict the values y for new values of x not seen in training. Finding the right function g is called regression, and the easiest way to do this is to assume that this function g is a linear function, hence the name linear regression. Here alpha is the slope of this line and beta is the intercept. The simplicity of linear regression makes it really attractive. We're only dealing with linear functions here, so no complicated neural networks involved. If you are faced with a prediction problem, linear regression should really be the first thing that you try. To do linear regression, we just need to pick the alpha and beta that makes this line fit the data as much as possible. One way to quantify the fit of a line to a bunch of data points is to consider where the point in the training dataset is and where it should be according to this line, take the square of the difference, and then take the sum over all data points. To find the alpha and beta that make this quantity as small as possible, let's take the gradient, set it to zero, and solve for alpha and beta. Congratulations, you have just solved a prediction machine learning problem from scratch. If now you want to predict the weight of a new person, you just plug their height into this formula. In practice, you don't have to do this derivation by hand. If you feel more sophisticated, you can fire up Python, import scikit-learn, declare a linear regression model, and feed it the training data, and call the fit function. To get predictions, you can just use the function predict. In addition to being simple and tractable, linear regression is also very extensible. For example, you can easily adapt linear regression to fit a model with more than just one variable as input. In the same vein, if you are not satisfied with the linear relationship, you can augment your data with nonlinear features. Another compelling aspect of linear regression is the fact that we can interpret the coefficients that we get. For example, if the slope is positive, x and y move in the same direction, and if the slope is negative, they move in opposite directions. Good luck trying to find a meaningful interpretation of the weights of a neural network. This was linear regression in 2 minutes. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and see you next time!